Okay, so this is Unity Tutorial 4.0. Uh, we're going to make an NPC with dialogue. Um, so it's going to be a really basic NPC. It's going to work uh, pretty much exactly the same as everything has been working so far. So let me just uh, draw it up really quick. So let's have our NPC. It's going to be a brown capsule. Oops. Okay. And here's our player. It's our purple capsule. And what we're going to do is we're, we're just going to do this really simply. We're going to say uh, when the player gets close to the NPC, and the way we're going to do this is with a trigger. Um, so when the player enters the trigger, we're going to make a line of dialogue pop up. Like, hey, how's it going? Okay. And then when the player leaves the trigger, so this is going to be a new method called on trigger exit. Okay we're going to make this dialogue go away. So it's going to be really simple for this for this for this for this video. Um, it's just going to be an an, uh, an on trigger enter on trigger exit um, script. So let's go to unity. I'm going to close mod well so we can open that together. Um, so first let's uh, so I'm in game view. I'm going to switch to scene view and double click on my player to zoom in on the player. Let's add our NPC. So um, so we're just going to make our NPC a capsule, so we're going to say uh, 3D object, create 3D object capsule, and uh, let's set its position to zero, 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 drag it up, and let's put the NPC uh, over here, and let's give it a name, NPC, okay, and I want to give it a color, let's give it brown, so create material brown, okay. Uh, change the color to brown and drag that onto the NPC. Kind of a gulp. Okay, so here's our NPC. So um, just to set it up, it has a capsule collider, so you can't walk through the NPC's body. It's not a ghost. And we're going to add a sphere collider. So I already have a search, but you just click add component, type sphere. Here's our sphere collider. I'm going to make it a trigger. And notice it's, it's pretty tight around the NPC, so let's make it a little bigger. So we can do that at the radius. So let's make the radius 3. Um, so now when you enter this trigger, the NPC will say something. When you leave, it will not say something. Um, so let's set up, uh, also, let's just get all our stuff set up. So we're going to add in our canvas a new text box. Uh, so if we double click on our canvas, we can see our full canvas. So um, and actually, let's move this number of cubes collected um, up to the top of the screen. So I want to move the label and the counter up. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold shift, click on the, the second one. So now I have both of these selected. So now when I move them, they move together. So I can move them up to the top like so. Now let's take our label and let's hold, hold or let's, you can hold control and hit D or right click and go to duplicate. So now we have a second collectible label. We'll move it down here to the bottom. Um, and actually if we set its X position to zero, that'll be right in the center. So X is this yellow arrow. Um, which is normally red. Yeah, so the red arrow is X, so we set X to zero, and they'll put it right in the center of our canvas. Let's make the width 600 uh, and the height 100. And so we have a big kind of text box in case we want a long sentence. And let's change this from collectible label one to dialogue text. Okay, so we have our canvas set up. Let's delete the text here so it doesn't have anything in it. Um, so we just have this empty dialog box, and that's where our NPC's text is going to go. So I'm going to double click on NPC, go back to NPC. So let's add a new script. So let's go to Scripts, click Create, we go to C Sharp Script, and we'll just name it NPC. Okay? And so let's open up NPC. Um, so we're not going to use Update or Start, so I'm going to delete those. And um, so we're going to add two methods. So void on trigger enter uh, parentheses curly brackets and give that a space so we have a body available. Now void on trigger exit parentheses curly brackets. So both of these take the same um, argument, which is a collider. We'll call it other. So that goes in the parentheses. It's an argument collider other. So both of these methods now have an argument, uh, and in both of them we want to check 
to see if it's the player. So we'll say if other dot game object dot tag equals equals player and two curly brackets and give it a space so we we know what can go in there. Uh, and then I'm just going to copy this and paste it. So select the whole if statement, both curly brackets, control C for copy, and then click in this inside on trigger exit, control D for paste. So now we have both of our checks. Um, so in order to affect our uh, dialog text, which is a text, um, a text type, we need to, um, just like with our collectible manager, we need to import uh, the Unity Engine UI. So we say using Unity Engine dot UI with a semicolon. So it's just a third library import. So now uh, up at the top we can say public text, that's our text type, dialog text for the name in camel case, lowercase d, capital T. Um, so now uh, we also need, uh, so if we say dialog text, so on trigger enter dialog text dot text, that's how we edit the text, equals, um, so dialog, uh, uh, the text, here, let me do that again. So if I say dot text, you can see it's a string, okay? So we need a string to put there. Um, so what I want to do is I want to be able to edit that string in Unity. I don't want to think of what the dialog is right now. So I'm going to create a property that's a string, and I'm going to call this dialog line. So now our dialog text dot text can equal dialog line. Okay. Um, so whatever is in this string is going to get set to the text of the dialog. Now when you leave, we want to clear that dialog. So we're going to say dialog text dot text equals one equal sign, and we're going to set it to an empty string. So there's two ways to do this. You can do string dot empty, which represents the empty string. Okay. Um, or we can just manually type the empty string, and an empty string is just two quotation marks, so it's just nothing. There's nothing in there. So it's going to replace whatever our line is with nothing. Okay? So let's uh, go back to Unity, click on our NPC, click Add Component, and add the NPC script. So that's going to make this capsule into an NPC. Um, so uh, we have to assign two things here. We need a text. So dialog text, I'm going to drag that into the dialog text box. So it's going to fill. So if we drag the collectible label, it would replace this with the dialog. And we don't want that. We want to replace our new dialog box here. Um, and then we want, uh, in line, we can just type what we want them to say. So uh, since our key is a little confusing, since it's a gold sphere, I'm going to say the gold sphere is a key for the gold Okay, and just to double check our sphere collider set to trigger, let's test this out. The gold sphere is a key for the gold door. So you can see it appearing and disappearing. So I'm going to click my game tag. I'm going to drag it over here. Um, so we have uh, the game playing here, and we can see the scene. So you can watch as I approach the trigger and I enter it, the text appears. When I leave, it disappears. Appears, disappears. So that is our very basic NPC with dialog. Drag that back. You can drag. I mean, you can assign it anywhere. Uh, so, um, yeah, nice and simple.